So uh, before we begin, I think it would be a good idea for me to introduce myself. My name is Bernadette. You can call me B. I live in South Africa in a city called Port Elizabeth. It's a beautiful coastal city near the ocean. I wish I could go to the ocean today. It's so hot. <sighs> Very hot. I, I have a request. Please feel free to type an introduction if you want to introduce yourself and also if I'm speaking a little bit too quickly please let me know and I promise you I will talk a little bit slower okay <laughs> thank you cool um, another idea please ask me questions I, I don't expect you to understand everything you know you are learning English in English. It's not easy all the time. Talk to me. I want to help you. <laughs> Today we are talking about etymology. Etymology. Followed by the ch sound and how it is altered or changed according to origin. So if it comes from French, Latin or Greek, the sound is different. After that, we will move on to understand a little bit more about the days of the week. We will take an in-depth look at etymology terms at the beginning of our lesson. Then we will look at the ch sound in English. And then we'll talk about the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By the end of the lesson, you will have increased your awareness of etymology, your understanding of etymology, what it is, why it's important, because it is. So, the vocabulary for today are the ch sounds and the days of the week. And we will look at vocabulary, re relative and related to understanding semantics, the meaning, the, the practical use of words in English. A lot of information. <laughs> Tell me to slow down or ask me if I'm...